The earth is rigged for adventure, like a sailboat, and our hearts have adventure written deep within, like sailors hear the call of the sea. John Eldridge As we headed into Staniel Key, the first time we were close were the big yachts that everyone said would be in this area. The yachts are usually located off a of big major in deeper water where the swimming pigs are located. Here are the two we saw anchored as we prepared to arrive in Staniel Key to anchor near the Thunderball Grotto. This area's biggest draw are the swimming pigs, which are located where all the boats are located in the video clip you're viewing now. Many people choose to anchor in this area near the pigs. Wikipedia explains the swimming pigs' origins. Staniel Key is located in close proximity with another Exuma Island called Pig Beach, officially known as Big Major Key, which is an uninhabited island populated by swimming feral pigs. With a total of 365 islands located south of Nassau and only 40 minutes from Florida, on the island of Big Major Key, these pigs are found in abundance. Exuma swimming pigs draw thousands of tourists each year. The swimming pigs are surrounded by a variety of local legends. Rumors suggest that the pigs were brought to the island by sailors who planned to eat them upon their return. The pigs were said to have subsisted on food waste abandoned by passing ships. According to locals, the truth behind the swimming pig story can be traced back to the early 1990s. The pigs were said to have been raised on Staniel Key before the locals decided to move the animals. The pigs were relocated to the uninhabited island Big Major Key, where the pigs were left to roam free. As time progressed, the population of the pigs gradually began to multiply. Periodically, the inhabitants of Staniel Key would head over to the island, pick the fattest pig, and share the meat to the locals. As word began to spread of the island, tourism came with abundance, and with tourism came nourishment for these animals. The island's growing reputation inspired the award-winning short film when Pigs Swim, the first film dedicated to discovering the origin of the swimming pigs. It was directed by Charles Island Smith. The documentary was shown at five international film festivals. We chose to skip the pigs and the crowds because we had already caught our glimpse of pigs on the beach back at Meek's Patch in Eleuthera. You gotta go way out the ground and then turn back. Yeah. It looks like that's where he's going. That's what I was trying to figure out is he as we prepared to anchor, we got our first glimpse of Staniel Key. According to Wikipedia, Staniel Key was established in 1783 when the American Loyalists settled the Exumas. The island gained its popularity with the establishment of the Staniel Key Yacht Club in 1956, founded by Bob Chamberlain and Joe Hoocher. A variety of businesses operated on Staniel Key to provide accommodations and organize activities. In 1965, Thunderball Grotto, a limestone cave situated on the western coast of Staniel Key, was the setting of the James Bond film Thunderball. We gotta get really close to these boats to get in. There's five, 4.9. Staniel Key, Off Love Marina, come in. Six. Nobody should be flying in through here. Huh? It's crazy. Our first anchorage just didn't seem to work out due to the high traffic path we were anchored in. So this is how we ended up anchoring over closer to the Thunderball Grotto. We were just able to get the anchor set before the sun went down over Staniel Key. We are excited to get out and explore the area over the next several days. We woke to a view of the Thunderball Grotto, but we headed in to see Staniel Key and talked to some people about that steering issue from our last video. But what we realized about the grotto was that it is very busy from 10 a.m. on and the best time was low to slack tide. This would happen, thankfully, around 7 to 8 a.m. the following morning. So we would be up early and ready to snorkel.
We were super excited about having this experience pretty much alone in the grotto, except for Leo, who we met, and let us go in for a while before he ventured back in as he'd already swam the grotto once. We would meet Leo again in Black Point, single-handing his sailboat from New York.
It was eerie seeing a lion fish in the wild after hearing and reading so much about these fish, which are native to the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Right now they seem to have no real natural predators in the Caribbean waters and consume 50 species of fish in this area. They can be hunted as much as you can get without one stinging you. We've not tried yet. Our time is over here in Staniel Key. Next stop is Black Point, a favorite, where we will go on Allie's Big Adventure and meet Mama and her famous coconut bread.